just wondered if they're very interesting backpacks on those girls there. They look like uh, they made sure they got their foam bed. <laughs> Good idea if that's what they are. I thought that they look very light. And if they're, if they're camping out, how brilliant to have something like that. That you can buy these foam beds that don't weigh anything. And you can carry them on your back. Never seen that. I've never seen them before, actually. Um. Hello! Hello, darling! Oh, lovely greeting. Oh. Anyway, what was I saying? It's a beautiful spring day. We've got white flowers, yellow flowers, bluebells, of course. We've got those hot pepper things. I can't remember what you call them. Um, I took pictures of them not long ago. Now they've they've really sort of come out of themselves a bit now. Where are they? Because I've got no viewfinder on here, you know. There they are. But I was just mentioning those two young women I saw with the these sort of packs on their back. They look like Foam, made of foam and they look very light the girls had them on their backs and it looked to me like they were big enough to unfold into a bed um, this is the sort of thing you would see probably at the Glastonbury Festival so that at least you've got I mean that's a good idea for me to have something like that I mean basically I can still see them now walking along with them if they were going to to camp out, they're going to sleep somewhere, or going to just to lie down in the sunshine. How beautiful to have such a lovely, lovely bed. Never seen them before. I took a picture of them because uh, I'll look into it. I took a picture of the back of them. Now over there we've got our beautiful flat home. Further over we'll have... Don't forget, I'm using Sony today. I'm using Sony for videoing and keeping the Kodak mainly for photos because it's it needs a new battery and it runs out very quickly. My Sony takes very good pictures. But what a difference I've been out. I came out about a week or so ago. I'm not going down that way because I'm I am absolutely certain the cows and calves would be in the field now so I'm not I'm deliberately not going there I saw the cows and calves further up the fields when I was here last but I thought once those calves are a bit bigger and the weather's a bit better they'll stick them down the field so I thought rather than risk it I'll do a different walk today and later I'll be able to see if they are on the down my way. It's lovely plants, aren't they? And the bluebells. Look at that blue little patch of bluebells there. Look. Look at that. Just taking. I couldn't use the camera to take a picture. You see. Look. Little display of colour there. Now, those of you who know me and my, will actually know that, um, know where I am, Sam Bay. I thought, you can't miss it, you have to get out. Blue sky? My God, what was that? You know what I mean? We've got blue sky. <sighs> those two girls I've seen, They've walked quite well. They're walking quite quick. Those foam things on their back must be very light. I'm just doing a little bit of video and it's an introduction today. Because look at that lovely picture of flat home look. Like I say, I can't see it because I've got no viewfinder. It just looks a blur to me when I look through the the screen thing. But it will be there. 
With my big Sony's, both of which are in repair, the viewfinder that you have on the top, you can go right in and see. Look at that sky, everyone. Let me just take a picture of it. It's rare now. It's so rare, I have to take a picture. And a picture out there as well. You have to take pictures of blue sky these days because we just don't get it. It's becoming rare. Oh, the buttercups. Got to take a picture of them now. Uh, beautiful buttercups. I'm going to take a picture. That's the good thing about having two cameras. One does a video. One takes the photos. Well, I'm going to turn off the camera now, everyone, for a minute. Over and out. Right then, I'm walking through the upper path of the, the beach at Sand Bay to avoid the murk and mud. Um, the ferns have grown quite a lot since I was here last but you can see where the high tides have been there's a lot of debris a lot and um, I just had to tell some people it'd be better to not to go further down in the marshes because it is very bad look at the debris here yeah. loads of it loads of treasure I call it This is a path that not many people know. It is slightly concealed in the summer. Only people who know this area know of this path. It's not easy seen. Unless you pick someone out like me going along, then you become aware of it. Of course, I've videoed here many times. Um, yeah, just you get a lot of people who've never been here before. Um, and I tell them stuff and they love it, actually. The stories I tell them and the, the, the roots and, you know, and stuff like that and a bit of history. <sighs> but I'll turn this camera off and then something will turn up. <sighs> see, it's a little path that weaves in and out and as you can see, it's dry. Now, where people are walking, um, I don't often tell people about this route either, actually, I'm a bit mean like that. It's a little private route that locals know, and you can avoid all the murk. Now, I met a couple then, but they could have missed it. Look at that lovely scene of the steep home and flat home. Beautiful. It's a good day today for cameras. A good day. And all this will be all in bloom eventually here that we can see. Yeah, spring is on its way. And, um, and it's all very, very beautiful. Like I say, not many people know of this particular path. I don't tend to sell too many people. I think you know. It's a secret path. that has been some really big high tides. Has there? Yeah. The debris. Amazing debris. Right over and out.